Hey everybody, it's Brad with the Big Family Homestead. And in just a brief moment, I'm gonna show you our chicken tractor uh, that we built for only 40 bucks. And I am here to tell you I'm not a carpenter, so this is an easy, easy build. But I wanted to let you know that we're gonna talk about chicken tractors and, and uh, their uses after I show you this video. So, but for right now, here's the video and then stick around for the info at the end. Okay, so here is our soon to be finished meat bird chicken tractor and right now I will do some close-ups so you can see how I put this thing together um, basically my wife's design mostly and then I came out and we tweaked it a little bit but um, all we've got is a bunch of uh, half inch PVC pipe three 12 foot two by fours and for all the builders that are out there who are screaming at me right now saying why the heck didn't you use pressure treated well, the reason why is because we're poor, and thank you for pointing it out. All right, so now the way that we actually put these uh, PVC into the um, two by fours is I took and drilled a hole out at one inch and drilled it almost down through the uh, two by four, and we're just basically slatting these in there like that. Now you say, why did you do that? Well, the reason why is this thing is not gonna stay up year round. It's not a permanent structure, and we can take these PVC pieces out and easily store them in a barn or somewhere else, and then this thing just pretty much, well, it just it's easy to store, really, that's it. So here's a different angle. As you can see, it's just basically a box, and we put some 45 degree bracing in there just because we're gonna move this thing around we want it to be kind of sturdy oh look at that awesomely messy garage in the back here let's get away from that so as you can see all we did was basically take these uh, the PVC pipes and like I said they went into these holes right into the holes that we drilled right there see all right so now all we really have left to do is skin this thing up with our chicken wire and our tarp to keep them dry and happy 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 birds so we're gonna get to that right now and I'll be right back okay so here we have our completed chicken tractor our ghetto fabulous chicken tractor uh, as you can see we've got the uh, tarp on there we may have to get a bigger tarp I don't I don't know if it's gonna stay dry enough but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it but we've got all the chicken wire on there everything's wire tied together cheap 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 easy to do took us a couple hours i am going to show you a, a latching system that we put on the door which is kind of funny actually so not only does this amazing chicken tractor come with high-tech security oh yeah that's a bungee strap bang that's how you keep the door shut on the, the middle section but check that out down there oh yeah there's a little stopper gappy thingy there we go that way you can open up your Ghetto fabulous chicken tractor door. Oh, funny, the kids have been in there, see? Oh yeah, already. It's a playhouse, not a chicken tractor, apparently. All right, so first of all, why a chicken tractor in the first place? I firmly believe that we need a chicken tractor for several different reasons. The coop is important, a very secure, like Fort Knox kind of coop is important for uh, your laying birds, but we find that meat birds, when you've got uh, layers, they, they, they do better in a coop situation where they've got their own yard. I know a lot of people free range, but where we live, there's a lot of predators and we need like coop knocks. So we've got our rooster in there and we always keep an eye out, but I don't want any wolves getting in there and, and wreaking havoc upon our ladies. So the coop is really important for the layers. However, meat birds, what we do is we'll take that chicken tractor and then you move it every day. You need it nice and light, but you move it. And that way they're gonna get fresh bugs, fresh grass, they're aerating with their claws and, and tearing stuff up and they're, they're pooping, so they're fertilizing where you're at. So if you have access, when your, uh, um, your garden is not actually producing stuff, it's a great way that if you can move those chicken tractors around in the garden, they're gonna do a lot of beneficial stuff to your soil, and all you do is just feed them what you were gonna feed them anyway, but they also get the benefit of all those nice bugs and nice grass, they're out in the sun, they're happy, and they can get in the shade too. 
And you can do that with that $40 chicken tractor. And we've done them several, several times. And they're fabulous. And they last a good five years, I would say, before they start coming apart. I mean, you could really, um, you know, if you wanted to extend the life, you could use heavier duty materials, uh, maybe like, a, you know, a pressure treated wood. But we found that it's just like, you know, okay, if we can, if we can justify 40 bucks over the course of, you know, four years, five years, that's a pretty dang good value, especially for what you're going to get in terms of return on your investment for the chickens, for the meat that you're going to get. And we found also that, that when you move them around, they seem happier. It's not, they're not just stuck in one spot. It's cleaner for them. And uh, they just, they seem to be happier. Not that I have like, you know, the chicken whisperer thing going on. I don't, I don't have that going on, but it just seems that that way. So for us, Coop is great for layers, Coop Knox, of course, and then a chicken tractor for the meat birds. And, and you say, okay, well, why, Brad? Why don't you have them more locked up? Well, where we put them, they are more secure because of the nature of where our animals are located. Uh, the coyotes don't want to go past the donkey. We have a donkey out there named Eeyore, and donkeys are known to stomp out and kill coyotes and wolves and all that kind of stuff. So where they're at, predators don't want to come through that to get up to where we have them near the house. So for us, the predator issue is not a problem. If you live someplace where it was uh, closer to a wooded tree line, you may consider not doing that so close there, maybe closer to a house or closer to where something would protect those animals. So there it is, our chicken tractor. Hope you like the video and hope you don't mind sharing it. It truly does help our family out. I'm Brad with the Big Family Homestead, and you have a blessed and amazing day.